today I have brought you guys a monstrosity. <laughs> Listen up Rangers, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve and today we'll be repainting some Essex Monsters 2021 Godzillas to look more like the 2019. And as you can see, I've already kind of done a little bit of work already pre totally before even recording this. Uh, that and doing a voiceover track. But what I'm going to be doing is a base version, which is going to be just standard Godzilla. And then an atomic more akin to like the poster version we got from 2019. So, because the spines originally uh, weren't the right color, because uh, for 2021, they have the blue illuminated spines, which are fine, but could be better, which is kind of what we're trying to improve on here. Uh, but got to get rid of the black or the blue. So, using the black to pretty much be sort of our primer and cover up all the blue, plus the black matches the undertone that we're going to be going for the Godzilla anyways. So I've already done that off camera. Uh, what I'm doing here is actually using a little bit of black paint to kind of just get a little bit more access to some areas. And then I also do a little bit of a wash. And the wash is mainly just to help fill in some of the crevices that the paint isn't really getting into very well. Uh, which is just um, what? <laughs> yeah, of course it's wet paint. It's a... Uh, Black paint mixed in with a little bit of water just to help it run a little bit better. All right, so hopping over to the other Godzilla to make the spines look a little bit more accurate to the poster version. So using a darker blue, which you don't have to worry about primering anything on the figure because all we're really doing is just darkening the color that's already on there. Plus, when doing it this way, I'm sort of brushing a little bit over the spines just to give it more of an illumination look to as well. Uh, but going to be doing essentially the entire figure for the spines and then just running along all the way down to the tail. Uh, don't have to worry about tearing this one apart as much because, again, it doesn't really need to get underneath the crevices as well as, say, with the black one, where when posing it, you don't want to see any blue there. While with this one, it doesn't really quite matter as much. So I primarily just overstress the articulation in the direction that would expose most of the parts and then just proceeded to cover the entire thing with the blue. And then using the same blue, I highlighted around Godzilla's gills and then also on his thighs uh, to make the uh, illumination look like when he's breathing the fire, you see in the film, those spots generally brightened up on the kaiju. So I wanted to replicate that on the figure and because I already had the blue paint out, I might as well do it now. And then use a smaller brush, uh, went over the mouth section as well, just again, tinting it with the blue because don't really have to do anything super drastic with the section either. And then next is the fun dirty part with the gray wash that I did over both of the figures. Uh, primarily for the uh, Spitfire version, I tried to be as precise as I can with it to avoid all the blue sections. And then eventually I went in and with a smaller brush, touched up around those areas so that I didn't have to redo the blue. Uh, spoiler alert, still had to touch up a couple of the blue sections. Um, but try to keep it as minimal as possible, especially with the spine region. While with the uh, basic 2019, decided just to go crazy with it, pretty much coated the entire figure. And then next for the primary stuff was all the dry brushing, which was dark grays for the body, which... Brought it back down to its normal color tone because after doing the wash, it got in the crevices very well, but brightened up the figure a bit. So I wanted to tone it back down. And then used a bunch of varying shades of yellowish, uh, yellowish browns to help highlight the stomach region more and also just give the rest of the skin a little bit more color variety here and there, just to sort of match the old X Plus and some of the 3D models I've seen. And then proceeded to do the whites on the spines for the Spitfire one, just to give it that nice illuminated look. And not quite accurate, but it gets the job done without having to try to get into all the crevices. But that was just mainly just white dry brushing. 
And finally was doing the faces. Uh, so I painted the teeth, the eyes, and the inside of the mouth on the normal version. One of the problems of doing YouTube, realize after you just got done doing your outro, filming all this entire thing, even had audio set up, realize you didn't hit record on the camera. <sighs> Hurts my soul. Anyways, here's the Godzilla's all finished up. Our 2021's looking like the 2019's. Really pleased with these. Um, and what's nice too is, unlike some of the commissions or customs that I do, um, these ones aren't as complicated as some of the other Monster Arts ones because they don't really require full repaints. Granted, still time consuming. Um, but not nearly uh, as bad because I don't have to do full repaints. I can get away with doing a wash on these ones and then dry brushing, which uh, isn't a lot of time saved, but time saved is time saved nonetheless. Uh, but with the Godzilla here, primarily was a light gray wash with dry, dark gray dry brushing and then went over top of that with different shades of brown, uh, especially around the spine region here and the front of the tummy to give him his nice brown look. Also, I had to do a full repaint on the head. I'll have a picture here just to uh, kind of help show off the eyes because it's super tiny with my setup currently because I'm still waiting for the drape, even though Amazon canceled my order even though it's on its way but we were like hey your box got damaged so we're gonna send it back to you and we'll refund you in like five days and you also got that thing with the prime deals so it's more than double to try to get a hold of one now but i digress still pleased with this one uh, what's nice too is if you have the 2019 godzilla it's actually a really easy uh custom to do yourself for the most part, as long as you're comfortable just doing washes and dry brushing, uh, which isn't super complicated, because this one, like this guy, nails are fine. You don't have to really worry about repainting the nails. Uh, if you use, and with the 2019, you also have to worry about redoing the head. Uh, with the 2021, has blue eyes, blue mouth, doesn't work as a base Godzilla figure. Um, and then you also got to redo the entire spines. <laughs> uh, so a lot of that is matching colors. Uh, for the most part, with this guy, you can get away with uh, black as your base and then go from there. Especially if you're doing the wash. The wash is going to kind of blend everything anyways. And then hide some of the blue if you end up missing some pieces. But still super pleased with this one. I know uh, when I go do my 2019, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. Because for the most part, this pretty much looks like an X-Plus right now. A very poseable X-Plus. And then we also have the more accurate version of the atomic blast uh, but this one's more in the 2019 style trying to replicate sort of the poster version but ended up doing what i usually do with these guys adding a little bit of whites just uh helps show off the illumination on the spines but they're just a nice dark metallic blue uh, again mostly the same thing don't really have to worry about 100 percent doing a repaint on this because uh, for the most part again base color is fairly correct and then for the blue on the spines, with the uh, with the blue that I was using, uh, it covers it up very nicely because you're already kind of there with the right colors to begin with. And then when going over the actual plating, it'll darken a bit, sort of like how it should with the light illuminating off. It's not going to be as bright as the spines. Uh, still like eyeballing it, it's really close. <laughs> but uh, with the low points, it doesn't quite hit as well, which again, it's kind of what you're looking for in a beam. And then also did his thighs there with the blue. Again, like what you see, and same thing around the gills, the mouth. Just use the exact same blues, just to tint the coloring right. And then proceeded to do the exact same thing I did with that guy. Did a wash, did the same light grays and browns for the chest region. Same with on the sides. Eyes. A little easier to do because again just have to tint them the right colors <laughs> so honestly enough between the two this is probably if you're going to be doing the same exact method with the same exact figures uh this one's the easier to do of the two because you don't have to redo the head skull um but if you have a 2019 then this one's definitely the little bit easier one to do because then you're not sitting there doing spines <laughs> but anyways these guys will be going through to their new home in Next few days, I'm uh, still waiting to get paid, but <laughs> um, I've been assured that it should be this week. Worst case scenario, they'll hang out till then. 
Because thankfully, at least with commissions, I, haven't ha I have yet to get stiffed. So that's good. Because if I got stiffed, people don't get their figures. And that makes things complicated and worrisome for me. But that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, I'll keep up the day with you know, donates. Also, if you guys like to pick up some figures for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. I'll support the channel. I'll get you guys some sweet Godzilla collectibles. Um, I don't know if they got this one on there, to be honest. But link will be in the description if they do. At least Godzilla figures in general. Uh, also, we have an Etsy shop. You guys like to pick up some beams for yourself, which I do do beams specifically for these ones. Uh, also, a link will be in the description. And then you can also let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in more of the legendary Godzilla's repainted. Uh, these ones are getting the loving right now because they were a commission, so got to film those and get this to the customer. Uh, but well, more than likely, I have the bootleg Mega Godzilla coming in. So that might be the next one I do as a repaint. Because I'm still debating if I'm doing a bootleg or if I want to just redo the regular one. I guess it depends how the bootleg looks. Because uh, I would prefer to do that over authentics in case I ever have to get rid of them. Uh, it's a little bit easier to try to... Well, I want to say easier because with these guys I don't want to charge more. <laughs> so it's definitely easier to get rid of regular versions over the repainted ones. Um, but... If you guys have suggestions, because I'm definitely going to be going through redoing the rest of them, especially since I sold off my Mothra Rodan, so wouldn't mind updating those. And then I still have the 2019, still got my Kong I want to touch up. Still got the 2021 Godzilla to actually do. Got quite a bit, actually. But anyways, see you guys next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>